Private Lindsay. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you some basic features of GoAnimate. Uh, once you have signed up for GoAnimate um, and you are ready to create your first um, video, it will step you through a quick tutorial. Uh, there is no way of um, um, opting out of that, but it might be a good idea to do that anyways. Uh, but here is um, uh, just a a quick tutorial on some of the basic features of um, Go Animate. Um, first of all, uh, once you start making a video, make a video. Don't uh, go to the quick video. Go to the full video maker. Um, and then, if you scroll down on this page here, um, you will also see here a character creator. Uh, most of the times, if you want to create a character, you have to pay for it. So. Uh, those are options, but I would just stay away from it, at least for the time being. Um, what's important is that uh, we have different scenes um, in GoAnimate, so we want to see all of our scenes here. So let's say Browse All. Okay, uh, these ones here um, that are dark are only available for certain accounts. This one is only available for the business account. This one is only available for the Go Plus, Go Plus, uh, Go Plus, and here Go Plus. Um, also, if you have a school account, these will you will uh, have those available to you as well. Um, but we want to look for anything free, so um, I like the cartoon classics. So I'm gonna go choose uh, pick a movie, and it will bring me to the screen. And this takes a little while to load, so I'm just going to X out the latest releases because I'm not willing to pay for any of that. Okay, and here we are. And this is what um, your uh, screen looks like. Uh, first of all, over here, you have, um, you have the scene that you're currently working on. Um, over here you have all of your options and I will explain that in a minute and down here is your timeline okay so uh, we already have a scene here but you know we might not like this scene especially not for uh, a school environment the beer and wine might not be such a great backdrop so let's make a living room backdrop here we go um, so if you want to choose a scene you go right up here and then you can scroll through all of the available scenes that we have. Um, you could, um, and we see as you get closer down to the bottom, there are more and more and more that come up. And down here, these are scenes that you, every time you, anytime you see the, the box here, you have to pay for that. So I would just stay away from it. There are plenty of scenes that are free. Um, just as um, just as good as the paid scenes okay so we have our scene um, so the next thing that we want is we want to put a character in so we go on this little guy here and we click here and here are all of our characters now you see some that have a uh, little running um, stick figures um, those are called um, uh, go points. Uh, if you have go points, then you can get those go points. You generally get as you um, as you create more and more, and you get badges. Uh, you get go points, but for the time being, just stay away from it uh, so you don't run into any problems. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this guy here right now, and I'm gonna pick this girl here right now. So we have two people in our scene all right and um, now that we have the scene and the character um, we want them to say something to each other so we're gonna put some speech bubbles there so I'm gonna put a speech bubble right here I'm gonna say let him say and right here I'm gonna enter my text Hello, what is your name? And you 
can see that it appears here and it has uh, it has uh, foreign character um, capabilities so you can even type in Chinese here uh, you have some advanced settings you can control when the bubble appears um, and so that's it when you're done with the bubble you click on this little arrow here click and you are done um, you want the little girl to say something too um, let her say something in the next scene otherwise we're going to uh, run into problems so let's just go ahead and add a scene there we go it all it does the add a scene it just makes a duplicate of the first scene and then you can make changes as you wish right now I want the little girl to say something so I am going to add a speech bubble for her and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna say here hello my name is Mary okay and we're done with her okay and so this is pretty basic stuff so now uh, if we wanted to see what we have done so far we would hit the preview button here and it takes a little while to load and here he says hello what is your name and she says hello my name is Mary okay so this is the very basic now you can save it if you like it the way it is or you can go back to editing and those are the very basics of just getting started um, and more in the next little video